Well, hmm? I'm waiting for your answer. Or should I say your excuse? I can't believe Alan called you about such a foolish thing. I explained to him that Henry and Vanessa owed me money for when I worked for them. And when I called, Vanessa said she was going to be at Cedars. I, uh, I don't think I said Alan called, did I? <laughs> Joe, if you're going to make up an excuse, it's got to be a lot better than that. You see, uh, if two people who aren't on good terms with each other owe each other money, they usually turn to the U.S. mails as a means of delivering it. Why should Vanessa meet with you in person if you two are as angry with each other as you'd have me believe? If this is going to be a third degree, Diane, I don't like it. I don't care if you like it or not. I can't afford to have people in my life at this point that I can't trust. Oh, come on, Diane. You know you can trust me. Oh, no, I can't. Not if you and the Chamberlains are playing some kind of a game. And I think that's what's going on here. Oh, no, that's crazy. Is it? Things are going too well for me right now to take chances with someone who specializes in double-crossing the people that he works for and supposedly oh, no, cares no, wait, about. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, uh, if you, before you go on any further, uh, we may both start saying things that we regret and can't take back. Mm -hmm. uh, besides, if you didn't trust me, you would never have told me about those letters that Henry Chamberlain wrote to Alan's father about Tinry's uh, son that he had by his ex-secretary. Huh? Oh, Joe, you are so wrong. You see, I shared that information with you because I was trying to test you. <laughs> see, I haven't been too sure of you ever since you became so eager to make up with me after that very bitter parting we had. You remember? When you said all of those ugly things to me? So I showed you those letters of Henry's for a very specific reason. To see if you would go to Henry with the information I was testing you, Mr. Bradley. Why are you suspicious of me after all this time, hmm? Well, let me tell you a little story. Um, once upon a time, early in the morning in Diane's apartment, you were out here, and I was in the bedroom on the telephone talking to Alan. And when I came out, you said that you'd been out here happily drinking the fresh coffee that I had just made. And then you went in to take a shower. And I accidentally picked up your cup. It was filled to the brim with ice-cold coffee. So I went over to the coffee pot to check it. It was hot. And nothing had been poured out of it. Interesting, hmm? Later on, I discovered that the things in my closet had been moved around a little bit. And you are the only person who could have moved them around because I am very careful to keep that closet door locked at all times. So when I put Henry's letters away the other day, I deliberately let you see where I keep the keys to the closet. There is an alarm device on that desk drawer now. And I keep expecting to hear it go off every time I leave the room and leave you alone in here. You haven't heard it. You aren't going to hear it. I don't care where you keep your keys, and I don't give a damn what you got in your closet. <laughs> Whoa, those slippery, almost sincere-sounding phrases, Joe. They might be enough to convince Henry and Vanessa. But I am twice as smart as both of them put together, and don't you forget it. Whoa, wait, now, just, just hold it one second here, all right? Let, let's, let's take this... Let's take this way back. <laughs> Let's take it back to the beginning, all right? Uh, you seem to be forgetting just how terrific we are when we're... Pretending that you still turn me on was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Yeah. Well, it's been none too easy for me either, lady, because I know you've got to pretend you're with Alan in order for you to make it with any man. Get out of here! Oh, I think you need to be taught a lesson, lady, and I'm just the guy to do it. Get out! Get out! Go back to the Chamberlains! I hate you! I hate the sight of you! You're going to be sorry for this, Diane, because I'm going to take care of this personally. It's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> 